Who exactly is Asmodeus? Asmodeus is one of the seven princes of hell. A demon whose only redeeming quality is a talent. He specializes in spreading lust and does not only prey on ordinary people. His touch has influenced kings, queens, and even divine beings. He is in command of hundreds of legions of demons. He is one of hell's king, serving under Emperor Lucifer and Satan. He incites gambling and is the overseer of all gambling houses in hell's court, as well as the prince of wrath and retribution. Some theologians have likened him to Abaddon or Samael. As model, the angel of April and Patience, the angel of Tyros, are his angelic forms. Asmodeus has a child or a clone who is also named Asmodeus or is usually referred to as Asmode. People who follow Asmodeus' ways are said to be sentenced to an eternity in hell's second level. He is a deity in the mythological pantheons of Persia and an infernal entity in Judaism. He rules gambling casinos in hell. He is credited with inventing carousels, music, dance and drama and currently serves as the ruling patron for French designers. According to Albert Mellon, May's book of sacred magic, Asmodeus is the result of an incestuous union between Tubal Cain and Nama. Others refer to him as the demon of impurity in Jewish legend. He is the father in law of another demon, Baal Shalman. In the book of Tobit, Asmodeus falls in love with Sarah, Ragel's daughter, and kills seven successive husbands on their wedding night, preventing the marriage from being sexually consummated. He is described as the worst of demons. When the young Tobias is about to marry her, Asmodeus proposes the same fate for him, but Tobias is able to render him unconscious through the counsel of his attendant, Angel Raphael. Tobias creates a smoky vapor by placing a fish's heart and liver on red hot cinders, causing the demon to flee to Egypt, where Raphael binds him. Though some translations say Asmodeus is strangled, perhaps Asmodeus punishes the suitors for their carnal desire because Tobias prays to be free of such desire and is punished for it. King Solomon tells the assistance of Asmodeus in the construction of his temple. The demon appears and predicts that Solomon's kingdom will be divided one day. When Solomon questions Asmodeus further, he discovers that Asmodeus is tortured by the angel Raphael as well by seal fish. Let's take a look at the physical characteristics of Asmodeus. Asmodeus may be the prince of lust, but his appearance isn't exactly alluring. He is a monstrous creature with three heads, one ship-like, one bull-like, and one human-like. The man's face appears to be the most normal, but his pointed ears, a hooked nose, zagat teeth, and a fire-breathing mouth, this human feature is possibly the most ghoulish of all. Asmodeus' head are cramped above ram chest that resembles a man. His body undergoes another stage of transformation at the waist, giving him the lightly feathered legs of a rooster and the scaly tail of a serpent. As if Asmodeus wasn't strange and disturbing enough, the demon rides a lion with a dragon wing and a dragon neck. Some later myths have reduced Asmodeus' horror box of physical characteristics. He is described as a young man with a beautiful face. His pronounced limbs distinguish him in a crowd. Asmodeus is a formidable demon. One of the seven deadly sins is spread by each of the seven princes of hell. Asmodeus is an expert in lust. In some case, he will fuel the fire of desire. For example, he has ties to Solomon's wife, Bathsheba, and may have played a role in amplifying her in the famous sex appeal. He is also the little husband or son, the mother of all succubi. In other cases, Asmodeus preys on those who fall victims to lust. For example, he plagued a beautiful virgin named Sarah, killing seven grooms in a row who wishes to marry Sarah and enjoy her company. Although, lust is Asmodeus' main source of income. He also dabbles in other sins. He is said to rule over a number of gambling establishments. He relishes vengeance. He will never pass up an opportunity to stoke resentment or assist in the formulation of violent vengeance plans. Later, Asmodeus was given a more playful and light-hearted personality. True, he was promiscuous and enjoyed a game of dice, but he lacked the evil intentions one would expect from one of Hell's seven princes. The Origin of Asmodeus
Most scholars agree that Asmodeus is a reincarnation of Ashima the Far, a vengeful demon who appears in Persian Vrutheism around the 19th century BC. Later, the Jewish and Christian faith expanded on Ashima's reputation. The Var created a new demon known as Asmodeus. He was given a high ranking among the demons of hell. Asmodeus was long forgotten in popular culture. During the 17th century, Spanish and French playwrights reduced him to the role of a tenor in a bottle, a fun companion for a midnight romp. Only the most serious theologians today could tell you who this enigmatic demon really is. The next video talks about Archangel Michael, Lucifer, Gabriel, and the Cherubim's secret stories explained in full. Watch the video now, it's on your screen. Thank you, and God bless you for watching.